Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Grange Hill for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum, and this is the 1 to 8K version, so we're going to get some um, nice AY music on here. Um, we saw some good digitised pictures there of Gaunch, Hollow and Mr Griffiths, three of the characters from Grange Hill. Um, and by the way, this is a game request by Andrew Hever on YouTube. Right. You don't have to keep reminding me to review a certain game. You only have to tell me once. I put it on the list. God, you don't. I, I, I'm going to keep repeating this. Well, not all the time, but you don't have to keep reminding me. Um, I mean, it's ridiculous. I mean, you reminded me four times on the previous video I just done in the space of two hours. I put it on the list. I am going to review it at some point. I don't always have time to review computer games all the time. And I also do other things with my life. Um, I don't just spend it on YouTube. I try and do what I can, but you know, I've got other things going on in my life as well. So please, please, please stop reminding me every half hour or so to review a game, please, Andrew. Um, it's doing my head in. I just hope you did not wear a straight jacket at any time in your life. I don't think you did, so it was pretty pointless for me saying that. But anyway, please don't keep reminding me. Right, let's get on with the game, shall we? Um, I had this back in the day for the Amstrad CPC 464, and I also played it back in the day. On, excuse me, on the Commodore 64. Um, I've just got another email. I just hope, I'm really hoping you just didn't send me another request. That would just send me over the edge. Right, I just got another email. I won't check it now because um, we're about to review this game. As I said, I just add, I've had this for the Amstrad TPC 464. Um, it didn't have those digitised um, photos in the Amstrad version and nor did the Commodore 64 version. Right, I've waffled on for two hours and uh, two hours and uh, two two hours oh I'm going mental now oh god what's going on? Right here we go. I've waffled on for near enough three minutes and let's play the game <coughs> excuse me. Right the keys are QA OP and space. This is not a text adventure game. If people I, I know Andrew said this was a text adventure. It's not I don't class this as a text adventure game. Right, let's get on with it before my head explodes. Right. It is your own fault, Gonch, says hello. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have had it on in on in class. Right, right, okay. You shouldn't have had it on in class. This is his um Sony Walkman he's talking about. You know he had the you know he's you know, oh, my, you know he is right because this is the second time You've had your Walkman confiscated. And what did your mum say then? This time she'll kill you. Right, sort of like a text adventure game, but you actually control the character. So you're not typing in north, south, east and west. Oh, what's happened? Exit. Back home, hello loves, says your mum. Tea's ready, looks like she's forgotten. Oh yes, she continues. Where's your cassette player? She shudders and awaits your inexorable. Oh, I can't bloody pronounce it. In and ah, I can't fucking write. Right. Your mum is going to kill you, and that's game over. <laughs> that was probably a quick game. That is a quick game over. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um. Right, let's have another go. Or do we have to sit through this? Come on. Um, there is a dark side to this game. There is a dark side to this game. If you haven't played it already, probably most of you that owned a ZX Spectrum, you probably have played this game. And you probably know. Hang on, you turn your wheel. Oh, you go. So those. Oh, this is set. I, didn't, I missed this part. You turn your heel. Where where are you going, asked Hollow? Back to school, get my Walkman back. Wait, what? But the school's locked. I'm going to break in, you say. Then, and I want to be there to see it. 
says Hollow. Hollow. Right, okay. Oh bollocks, you put space. It's up to jump. Right, go watch that. Along the street there's a path leading down. Right. Here we go. This is the this is the dark part of the, um, the game. Right. You see a shifty man in a leather jacket. Hey son, you want to buy some of the some of this? The man offers you a small packet of white powder. He is a pusher. Right, so what we're going to do? We're going to talk to the pusher. Oh, you know. And he does say something there. Um, I can't make out what he says. It's the same as the Commodore 64 version, but that speech is not there in the Amstrad version. Right. We're going to say yes. There is an empty look in his eyes as he snatches the money from your hand. His face is pale and drawn. His body is thin and unfed. He steals to keep his habit and makes addicts out of children. He is dead and soon you will be too. So that is the dark part of the game. I thought I'd show you that. Now it's game over. But now I'm going to have a proper go. I could never complete this game back in the day when I did it on my Amstrad CPC. Right. The only problem is you've got to sit through with this. You can't just space and just get on with the game. As I said, the good digitised photos there, pictures, whatever. And this does play exactly like the Amstrad CPC version. So it makes me think that this was ported to the Amstrad version. To the Amstrad rather. Right. It's about um, getting things and so doing a few puzzles here and there. Oh god, keep fucking stop pushing space. It's up to jump. Right, so there's a torch. The music's the same as the abstract version, but for some reason, the octave's always different from the Spectrum and the Amstrad. So the pitch is different. Oh, what do we have here? We weren't really afraid of that dog now, so... I mean, there is text going on there, but... <coughs> Excuse me. I would never ever class this as a text adventure game, because you're not controlling as text. You're controlling a person. Oh, shit! That wasn't a clever idea. Rolf has savaged your leg, and now you will probably be di now you'll probably die of some horrible disease. Yeah, rabies. Um, we'll have another go. I didn't mean to do that. You jumped so far. All right, come on. We know that's Gorge. He's a gingerhead guy, wasn't he? Hollow was his mate. Mr. Griffiths was the school caretaker. There was a two, there was enough, <laughs> excuse me, there was another ginger one, weren't there? Trevor Cleaver. I miss the old Grange Hill, it's quite a good series. I've been watching that as a kid. Right, let's go down here. So I've got to watch that. Because that will jump like this. Watch your way, right, pick up, telescope. I'll go beyond that? No. Oh, I can go up there, can I? Can't remember now. So the music's done by David Whittaker. I know that. Let's go up here. Right. Oh, bollocks. Sometimes hollow don't keep up with you. You have to say... Oh, fucking hell! You have to say to him, come on, Olo. Right, here we go. Now I can pick up that book. Because you need that for something. As I said, never completed this game back in the day. Right, this is where you need the book. Right. Use. History book. Stand. Ah, uh, what? No way, you've got to stand on the book to get that plane. Right, use 
history book stand on book you can now reach the plane okay you've got it okay I'm staying put gaunch right now you've got to say to him talk follow come on right oh shit what are you talking about right I want to get out of this what am I doing I said right, as you get out of this come on follow right okay how do you get out of it how the fuck do you get out of it Well, as you get out of it, I don't know, I ain't got a clue. What do you push? I've talked to him. Not escape. What is going on? I can't get out of it. I can't get out of it! Right, I don't know how to get out of this. This is ridiculous. I've, I've, I've talked to him, you should, you should be able to get out of it. On the Amstrad version it does, on the Commodore 64 version it does. I don't know. How do I get out of it? What key do I push? You should push, I think it's return, it gets you out. Something gets you out of it, but... I can't get out of it. Oh, this is wank this fucking review up already. Ah, oh, blah. I'm not. I'm not doing it all over again. Reviewed the Amstrad and I reviewed the Commodore 64. It looks like I've screwed something. I don't know what to push. Usually push return. It. Get, I think it takes you back to the game, but it ain't taking you back to the game. What? What? What do I have to fucking push? Nothing's ever fucking straightforward on the spectrum, is it? Ah, uh, bollocks. It's not the F keys. Oh, hang on. Oh, bloody hell. What about... Ignore that. Wit. Um, back. I don't know. I don't know what you have to push. Um, hang on a minute. Right, I've just quit out of the game because I don't know what happened there. I don't know what's happened there. Right, I was just checking that last message. Right, it wasn't what I thought. Okay, right, let's have another go. Let's have another go. Right, we know what's going on. I do apologise about this. Oh, I'm not going to talk anymore. I don't think you need Olo. Oh, I should have got back up there. I'm not going to waste my time talking to anyone. But when you talk to the trucks pusher, it, it seemed to work. Right, let's get that plane. News history book stand on book. Right, now it's just gone back. That's good. That's what it should have done. Perhaps the game glitched. I don't know. Right, it's him again. Right, talk. He's the pusher. Hang on. Talk. You are not allowed to do that. Hang on. Why can't I talk to the pusher now? Just say no. Alright. 
say no, like what Zamo should have done. He shrugs and walks off. Right, okay. So let's start picking up objects. Chair leg. Right. Oh, I can't go in that water. Right, so I'm, I think I've got the fishing rod. Use. Did I pick that up? Oh, I must have missed it. History book, I can drop that paper plane chair leg. Right, I need the fishing rod to get that bone for the dog. This is what the game's all about. You've got to pick up stuff. Things do things with different things. What's that, a telescope? So, so you step on that, you trip up and you will hurt yourself. So you can't, can't go on that, um, trip over that bit of rock. Right, it's a torch. I think you can only pick, um, carry so much. Where the fuck's this fishing rod then? Because you can't jump that dog because you... Ah, there it is. Fishing rod. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Right, now I've got to go back and get that... Um, you don't want to fall down that gap because you get trapped. Broken telephone box. So oh, he's hollow. I'm not even going to bother talking to him. We'll go down here. So I don't think that pushes here anymore. No, he's gone. Right now, I've got a use um, fishing rod. Get bone. Okay, you got it. Right. Okay. Right now we've got to find that dog. We're at the street. Right, it's up there, isn't it? Our oh, balls. Right, jump up here. Avoid that. Oh, where the hell am I going? Oh no! 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 I didn't want to do that, I accidentally jumped and my mother's going to kill me, spankity spank. Damn it. Damn it. Oh dear. Well, I hope you're satisfied, Andrew. I did eventually review the game, um, even though you requested it about a couple of days ago or even a day ago. But here we are. Don't keep reminding me, I will review them at some point. Um, yeah, I thought it was an okay game. It was one of them games I did get frustrated back in the day when I had it on the Amstrad CPC. Um, but still a good game, I think. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.